Thank you. Gosh, hard, Thank hard, you. hard words to come after. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah, um, one thing. Thank you all for, for talking to us and talking to everyone here. Um, one thing that did strike me tonight that I heard a lot was words like hope and political will. And it did sort of strike me as odd coming from politicians to talk to us as if we're meant to inspire hope. And young people, I think we have inspired maybe hope or we have encouraged hope and political will through our actions. But it's your job to really pr pr uh, provide hope for us. You are the adults, you are the politicians, and you are in the position to create amazing change, arguably a lot more than us, because you are in positions of power if you get elected. So um, I would ask you to think on that and think, how do I inspire hope in young people and provide them with hope? Because no one's really doing that for us right now. We're having to do all the providing of hope, and that's pretty rotten um, for young people. I um, also wanted to address some things about my first question. Um, obviously, the pandemic has been uh, really challenging for all of us. Um, we have taken steps to ensure that our loved ones are protected. Um, and we've done that because it's been made very clear to us that it will save lives. Now, the climate crisis will be far worse than COVID-19, as I think everyone has shared that tonight. Um, uh, and yet, we rarely hear anything from the government on how we can tackle this crisis. And we, we don't get, we rarely get any updates on our progress as a country in reducing our emissions. We often face a media um, building both climate scientists and climate deniers, as if it is a 50-50 argument. Um, and the, the next Scottish government, whoever that may be, whoever gets elected, um, has a role to play to help us face this crisis. You must set the tone and lead the country to rapidly reduce the emissions on a far steeper pathway than we're currently set. Um, also, it really shouldn't be forgotten that this COVID-19 pandemic, if clim climate change is allowed to run away and get much worse, we are likely to see far more pandemics, global pandemics, and we'll see another 2020 every few years. And I think we can all agree we, we kind of want to avoid that. Um, so yeah, to wrap up, uh, if you take one thing away from today, please take this thought. Scientists have been warning about a global pandemic similar to COVID-19 for years. They knew it was coming and yet their cries on how to stop it fell on deaf ears until it was too late. Do not let the same thing happen with climate change. I'll pass to Esther. 